Um, Dad? The doorbell has been ringing for quite a while. Um, I'm busy watching TV. Go see who it is. Okay, Father. And what if it's some stranger waiting to break in? Rosie, you're acting like your bitch-ass mother. Just do me a favor and go get the door. Fine. If I get captive, don't try to come look for me. I'm here. Now who the hell are you? Watashi wa in, Kalo no tame no pakaji haitian ga eramasuka? Sorry mister, but I cannot understand what you are saying. Anata wa wakrimasen. Kono pakaji wa hijo ni juayananode, kono hito ni heso saru hijo ga eramasu. Kono hito ga kono pataji o yukitari ni bei anata ga shitaru deri mogashin yadeshu kono katai ni keru wa eramasu ka I don't even know who this person is yet he's speaking a language that my stupid brother might recognize jokes aside though I think it's best for me to receive this package seems like he's trying to be intimidated but his language is hard for me to understand oh well mister just give me the damn package I'm pretty much wasting your time. Mo Karin. Dozo. Yeah, thanks I guess. By the way, whose package is this supposed to be for- Come here children. I got some candy. And not the kind you'll enjoy. I'm fast as fuck boy. Catch me if you can. Well, I guess I'll take this in. I don't even know who this is for. It's all in some kind of language. So who is it at the door? I don't know. Some guy speaking a language I cannot understand. He did left this package though. I don't know who it's for. But it's in Japanese I'm assuming. Japanese? Maybe Kalu might know. He watches hentai. It's anime dad. Not hentai. Whatever it is. I don't give a shit. Just give him the package to see if he knows. Yay yeah, yay. Yeah. Whatever you say. Hey moron. I got a package you might understand. This guy kept ringing the doorbell like an old man. He said this package is very important. The package is in Japanese. So you might read it since you're a massive read. Hey. Are you even listening? You know what? I'm going to open the door. Kanyu, what the hell are you doing? I have literally lost control of my life. What in the world have you been doing? Bro, why do you look like that homeless guy at the local gas station? It's creepy. I'm sorry sis. Leo dared me to rewatch the entire series of Naruto. For what cause? Like seriously. That's pretty dumb of you. He said he'll give me $20 if I do this. How stupid can you be? How can he tell if you did it? Oh, you're right. Well anyways, I got this package, but it's in Japanese or something. Maybe you might know what it translates to. Rosie, stop yelling. It's hurting my poor head. Moron, can you help me translate this or not? This guy kept blabbering words left and right about this package. And he doesn't speak English. Oh, sure. I can do that. Whoever gave you the package must have been speaking in Japanese as well. Should be easy to translate. Well just to add a little more detail. The guy who gave me the package acted all intimidated towards me. Never really understood what the hell he was trying to say. Uh huh. The sender of this package is unknown to me. But from the looks of it. This package is for me. Really? What's in it? I don't know. But it must be something really special. Oh boy. Of course. Like a kid in a candy store. Anything you receive is always something special to you. It's pretty funny. Just like that one time. Holy crap. I don't believe IT. It's an awesome hat. A freaking hat are you kidding me? Pretty cool huh? I think this hat is amazing. A freaking fedora. This whole time it was a fedora? I guess you can say, this is a very special gift. I love it. Yeah I get that. But why a fedora? I was honestly expecting something more important than a stupid fedora. Important? This is the best gift I've ever received. Aside from dad's mediocre Christmas presents. Like I mean come on. 
This hat is amazing Rosie. You have to admit that. I'll never admit to something so mediocre. Sorry but it's not my taste. I'd like to take this out for a test drive. What do you think? Wanna come along? What's with all the commotion? I am trying to watch my show. Oh not much is going on here. Except I got this dang ass hat. A hat? You little shit. Is that what's kept ringing the doorbell? I told you to stop buying stupid shit with my credit card on Amazon. Dad, normally I don't agree with Caillou most of the time, but he did not buy this hat with your credit card. Yeah and Dad, Rosie said there was this Chinese guy at the door with a package. The package said it's for me. I don't know who it's from, but they gave me this hat. Well in that case, I'm going to go out and get some McDonald's. You both want anything? A mom would be nice. Besides that. Can I get a Big Mac with large fries and high sea tropical punch? Okay, and what about you, Rosie? I honestly want you to die. Chicken McNuggets, got it. I'll be back. Don't burn down the house, I still got the second mortgage to pay. Even though Dad doesn't have the money to pay the second mortgage, he still tries his best to be a better father. Yeah, right. He's a piece of crap. Anyways, what do you say? Wanna take this hat for a spin? Show everyone how bad ass this hat is? Sure I guess. Where to? To the park. We're going to see how many reactions we can get from other people. Sounds like a stupid idea, but it's whatever keeps me away from boredom. Thank you for all coming. As what the military knows. There was a suspicious package that was being tracked for delivery at the desired location. Good job on the work, Sergeant. This package seemed very suspicious to our eyes. We do not know what this package is capable of handling. Good thing you kept track of the package. Thank you, sir. We're doing our best to make sure our country is safe from any nuclear actions. So do you have any confirmation of whereabouts this package is located right now? Yes, the package was being tracked around the US. We're not sure where it's being located, but we've been keeping track of it ever since it was being moved around from states. Ah, so the package was being sent from state to state. Seems odd for just one package to be sent like that. Any idea where its desired location is going to be delivered? Right now, sir. Our men are tracking it still. Hopefully in time, our men will notify us where it's going to be delivered. Good job on the work you've been handling. Hopefully whoever is behind this terrorism, will pay for its actions. Thank you sir, we're doing everything we can to protect our country. Sergeant, we got some emergency news. What happened Lieutenant? What's the emergency? Package. We lost track of it. Wait what? Are you serious? Lieutenant what the hell happened? I thought you and the guys were tracking it. We were. And somehow, we lost sight of it. I always known our military was slow at everything. It ain't nothing special. If we all die, so what? Me living like this is for the better cause. Lieutenant, before the guys lost the package, where was it last located? Sergeant, we've been tracking the package for a while. The package was going from state to state, 49 states to be paraced. Wait, so if the package is already headed to 49 states, wouldn't that leave? My god. Its final destination is heading in DC. Son of a bitch. The package might be heading here. By now the package could have been achieved. Lieutenant, I need you to call in our supports immediately. Yes sir, I'm on it. If it already arrived here in DC, we should evacuate right immediately. Yes. Everyone should evacuate the White House right away. If the package falls into the wrong hands, things could go worse. And what the president? He's very hard-headed to comprehend with. How are you going to reason with him? This is why I prefer death than living. You don't have to worry about shit like this. Don't worry, I know how to speak his language. It took me a while, but it'll be worth the time and effort to understand his language. America could be under attack. We should compromise immediately. Altar will continue after these messages. 
go to the church and ask God to forgive you. We now return. Trust me, Rosie. This idea is perfect. There's no way this hat to Goltar will let me down. Where did you put that stupid hat anyways? Oh, I put it in my pocket. And it's expecting. I didn't think it'll fit in my pocket. There's still a few questions about that hat. Just who decided to give you a hat? Something ain't right. Okay, Rosie. You ready? No, not really. I feel like this whole idea is going to backfire. I mean, just listen to me. Why on earth would someone give you a fedora unexpectedly? There has to be a reason why they did it. Nah. It's probably cause I'm a loyal member of some group I'm in. Or maybe I wanted in a raffle or something. Or maybe you're just stupid. Cheer up little sis. Come on. Onwards. We got a job to do. Let's go. I have a feeling this will go bad. Wow. I cannot believe that only took 5 minutes. I don't understand. This wasn't supposed to happen. It should have gone well, I should have gained popularity. Not be hated. What am I doing wrong? I thought I would have been cool by now. Well if you think about it, fedoras are outdated. Now these days, kids will do anything just for some clothing to make them cool. Like Gucci accessories, Logan Paul attires. Bitch please, Logan Paul is nothing but a lying ass wipe. I'll never wear his clothing. But I thought you wore his stuff before? That was Jake's. Jake is the only Paul that I'll respect. Здравствуйте. Вы нашли мальчика? Да, сэр. Кость хацая, в хану спасну доставил я его. Теперь мальчик здесь со своей сестрой, которую я у Ян прополагаю. Понимаю. Мальчик должен не читать контрактную бумагу, которую она отправила С. Федора. И если мальчик не знает, что он обязан делать, немедленно достанет ушли. Ян на хасхус на ней, сэр. Убить его. Убийство невинного ребенка не является частью идеи. Попытайтесь убедить Ева дать вам шляпу. Мальчик должен быть очень глупым. Также не забудьте использовать свой американский акцент. На волну и сяру, сэр, я на тебя и не подведу. Американ акцент? Хелло, хелло. Хелло, хелло. Да. I guess that's close enough. I don't know, Rosie. Maybe I should give up. Excuse me, young man. May I have a word with you? Who the hell is that? I don't know. But the way he's dressed doesn't seem too suitable. Excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I noticed you were wearing a fedora. Wait, really? You noticed? Yes, and I really love it. Perhaps we can make an offer for that head of yours. Oh, an offer? Oh, I don't know. I really love this hat. Who are you anyways? You sound very suspicious. I'm asking cause you see, I'm a really big hat collector. I collect the rarest of the rare of hats. It's my hobby. I call bullshit on that buddy. Hey, I don't know. Really, I want to keep this hat. Excuse me for one moment. Bro, don't you see what's going on here? This man wants your fedora. Doesn't that raise any red flags? Honestly, I think this is a fantastic opportunity. Whatever you say is stupid, I'm kicking you in the balls. Okay. Listen. Here's what I got. So me and you will try to bribe that guy. And once he comes back, we will tell him to F off. Or he can give us a good offer in exchange for this hat. He'll eventually start begging for the hat and he'll do anything for it. I see. We can beg him for stuff like money. Bro, you're ingenious. One. No. I was thinking of asking if he has any connections with both Logan and Jake Paul. Okay. We are not on the same page here. What? I think this is a excellent opportunity. Asking someone if they know who the Paul brothers are is possibly the worst idea I have ever heard. Okay, kid. I got an offer for you. You may like it. It'll change your mind on what you planned on doing with that hat. What do you want, Aswipe? Whatever you got to offer, we don't want it. 
So you don't want what's in my hand? Look, whatever you got in there, we're not going to give it up. Are you sure? I don't understand. It's just a stupid briefcase. Listen, stranger, we're not buying into your little tactics. Not even for $100,000? Are you freaking kidding me? A, eh? I've seen better. Caillou, this is serious. This man is giving us $100,000. Give up that hat. Yeah, but what if this guy is faking it? What if he's trying to lure us and so he can take the money and the hat at the same time? Sometimes I wonder what goes on inside that thick brain of yours. I got a great idea. What if we take both the money and the hat? Oh yes. This guy looks smart as hell. Like he's going to fall for that. Trust me Rosie. I know what I'm doing. This guy is about to be Boon Gang. I swear you can be a idiot sometimes. Rosie look. He's gone. And he left the briefcase too. Son of a bitch you're right. Should we take it to the police or something? Could be drug money. No you fucking idiot. We got to take IT now before somebody sees IT. After the whole fiasco of the park, Caillou and Rosie decided to boo on gang the briefcase containing hundreds of dollars. Little did they know, a certain someone managed to track them down easily. Don't do anything stupid, or else. Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on? Both of you are in serious trouble. Wait until the boss see this. Stay where you're at. Please don't shoot me. I promise I won't download any anti ever again. He's probably after that stupid hat of yours. I told you there's something fishy about it. It's my obligation to keep you two captive here till the boss shows up. Not so tough, huh? You're making my job a whole lot easier. What the hell is going on? Did you find the person with the hat? Yeah I did. Turns out there's two of them. I got them held hostage. Two of them? There should be only one. I'm on my way. You two are in serious trouble. Good luck trying to get away from this. Please don't. I'm too young to die. Wait. Who's your boss? I swear if there's another wrong person. I'm literally not taking you on that subway trip. What the? Grandpa? Wait you know these two? You dumbass. Those two are my grandkids. Well I didn't know that. I tracked down that hat like you told me to. Its destination stopped here, so I figured I move in quick before anything happens. And you decided to barge in like a midman and point the rifle to my grandchildren. Are you an idiot or something? I don't hire those who abuses children like that. Sir. It's not my intention to do that. I swear. I thought these kids were some kind of terrorist. Get out of my sight. No subway trip for you. You disappoint me. I swear who does that to kids? Unbelievable. Gramps sure hasn't changed a bit. No kidding. Even I'm in shock to see a grown man crying like that. Weird. Sorry for the commotion. I'm sure he didn't mean to do that. To be honest, I was scared at first, till I saw that he had his rifle on safety. I know this may sound weird, but from the looks of it, my student somehow tracked down a suspicious hat to here. Have you guys happened to find an unusual hat? Yeah, we received this hat not too long ago. It's right on the couch. Well what are the odds? That's the hat we've been looking for. How did you two manage to acquire it? It's weird. Some guy who was speaking in Japanese gave me the package. He tried sounding intimidated, but his language made it hard to understand. Japanese, huh? I think I might know who's responsible for this. But aside from that, I need to take that hat. Wait, why? That's my hat though. You must understand this Caillou. The hat you got is not some normal hat. It's a nuclear hat. Wait, nuclear? What are you trying to say? That hat is designed to be a nuclear bomb. There's plenty of hats now these days being shipped from country to country. It's basically both act of war and act of terror. Gramps, I think you need to go. We heard enough about that hat. 
Just take it and go. But I wasn't done discussing about the chemistry of Newton's laws of physics. Uh-huh. No, you weren't. Hey, sis. What are you doing? Nothing much. I'm just on my laptop. Well, what can I say? Today was pretty interesting, huh? I guess you can say that, considering what had occurred. Also, have you stopped griefing for that dumb hat? Of course I did. In fact, I learned a valuable lesson. And what would that be? That nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. I have a feeling you read that off the internet. My god. You have to be such a buzzkill about everything I say? No. It's because a smart person knows what to say. A wise person knows whether or not to say it. You read that off the internet as well, huh? Think what you want to think. Life lessons are bullshit. Every season Till the 